Sophia and this is my first video and I've decided my first video I'm gonna do like a book collection video. I like to read and I have like a good amount of books where I can just like put them all in one video but it won't be like crazy long. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna show you my books and tell you about my favorites and just give you some good choices or some good books to some choices, some good books to read. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so my first book is going to be from the Legend series, or trilogy, it's a trilogy, um, it's by Marie Lu, and this is the first book from the trilogy, um, it's like, it's in the future, and then there's like, there's the Republic, and then there's the colonies, so like the United States is kind of like split in two, kind of. But yeah, it's really good. Um, this so this is the first one, and then the second one is Prodigy. It's blue. It's a little bit thicker than the first one. It's so good, and I'm on the third right now, which is Champion, and I'm like don't want it to end, and I'm like ugh. But yeah, it's really good. It's definitely one of my favorite. Another favorite series of mine is definitely the Hunger Games. I love the Hunger Games. Um, I have all the books, I have all the movies, I'm waiting for the second part of Mockingjay to come out. I'm like so stoked, you have no idea. But obviously The Hunger Games, it's about these games where kids go in to get to the age of 13 or is it 12? I, I can't even remember. It's so good. I'm really contemplating reading it again. It was just so good. So this is the first one and then the second one was Catching Fire. I think Catching Fire was my favorite. Mockingjay, which is the third one, it was kind of, I don't know, the second part wasn't too great, kind of lagged a little bit, but I really enjoyed it. I know some people don't really like the second one, and there's mixed feelings about the third one, but I don't know. I like the second one. But I really like, it's like written in like, kind of like poem format so like it's like not like not like a poem and then another poem but like it's written as if a poem was here but like it continues on to the next page um this one's called to be perfectly honest it's by sonia Sones. it's about this girl who's like a pathological liar it's just really good like it's, it's probably the biggest plot twist book ever but i have a friend who's not much of a reader and I had her read this book, and she loved it. So it's definitely, it's good. It, I know it looks sick, but it's definitely an easy read. Another book is The Giver by Lois Lowry. Pretty sure that's how you say his name. Um, but it was really good. If you've seen the movie, you should definitely read the book. Or if you read the book, you should see the movie. It's really good. Another book, uh, The Fault in Our Stars. Okay, it used to have a cover, but I kind of lost it. This actually wasn't even my copy. It was my friend Bella's copy. She lent it to me, and then my the cover of it, because I don't like to read books with the covers. I always take them off. I like hardback, but I always take the covers off. But I put it in, like, a basket on my floor, and my mom was cleaning up my room, and she just, I don't think she, like, looked. She just kind of grabbed stuff, because I have, like, trash. So I'm like, I don't know. I'm just too lazy to throw, like, papers and stuff away, so I just kind of, like, leave them there. And my mom threw it away. But it's okay, because we bought her another copy. I felt so bad, though. I was like, oh my gosh, you lent me your book, and I, like, ruined it. But yeah, that's why this one's copyless. But it's, it's The Fault in Our Stars. It's Ghost of Slay. I'm pretty sure I showed you it upside down. But yeah, it's John Green. Actually, it's the only John Green book I read. I movie was real good. So yeah, I suggest you read the John Green books. I'm, like, still trying to read them all. So there's this series called Reboots. And it is so good. Um, it's by Amy Tinteria. Tinteria, for here, I don't even know. Um, <clears throat> but it's about, I'll just kind of summarize the back. I'm not good at explaining books. So, this girl named Ren, she died. And after 178 minutes, she came back, but as a reboot. And a reboot is sort of like a robot. They're like, they're like, 
insanely strong and insanely smart so they're just like a robot and they're faster and able to heal like so like if they obviously if they get like shot and like drop their head then they'll die but like um they'll just like if they have a cut then they can heal but like big gashes take longer to heal but they'll still heal sci-fi-ish futurist book um and she is they so the longer the reboots are under the, when they come back, they're less human. So she was under for 178 minutes, 78 minutes, which is the longest anyone has ever been under. So she's like almost, she's like 99% robot. So yeah. And she's working for the Republic of Texas. And because like and everything's kind of like cut up now. And then there's this guy named Callum, kind of like Callum Hood from Fast Things in Summer. I mean, they're spelled differently. But he is also a reboot, but he, she's the highest and he's the lowest, and they like work together. But like, obviously, there's differences. It was really good. The first one was really good. And so I got the second one, which is called Rebel. I took the cover off. There was a blue cover on it. I took it off. I don't know where it is, actually. That's really bad. I should feel like you better talk to this. But I took it off, and I started it, and I kind of just left it. I like abandoned it. It was good, but I feel like if I kept reading it, I'd get really into it, but I don't know. The beginning was just too slow for me, and I was kind of like, not really paying attention. I should probably start it over again. But the first one was really good, I swear. It was really good. Another Sonia Sones book. This one is one of those hideous books where the mother dies. I, it's kind of an, it's a name, you know? Um, obviously, also, fuck, what? But obviously, also, in, like, poem form, but, like, written in the format it was really good girl where her mother dies and it's like her story and her dad is famous and she has to go and live with him but she's from like massachusetts i think or somewhere over there on the east coast and she moves down obviously he's famous in california so then she moves down it's really good it's an easy read definitely an easy read okay a book that i also started but didn't finish i'm like almost done i just i don't know like it like if the book gets boring I don't finish it. But this one's called Dorothy Must Die. This one. It's really good. It's definitely really good. So Dorothy Must Die is basically a twisted version of Wizard of Oz. Um I can't I'm not good at explaining books, but it's a twisted version of Wizard of Oz. The girl comes, she's like she's from Kansas, she lives in a trailer park and her mom is like all over the place and she's just at school and no one really likes her she doesn't really have any friends like she like and then she, a tornado comes and then she gets put into oz and like people are like oh my gosh it's her and like she's there to like save oz basically um and yeah after this is the wicked will rise sorry um and I like really want to read it, but I need to finish this first. I'm almost done. But I don't know. I just haven't finished it. I think we need to finish them. It's like it's on my list. I'll get to it. But that's it. Those are all my books. I hope you enjoyed my first video. It was really fun, and I'm definitely gonna try to like make some more videos. I'm gonna try to like stick with this. I'm definitely gonna try. Really, really hard. I'm like I'm in school right now, but I'm a junior in high school. So I kind of got to concentrate, but I, I feel I can do this. I think it's going to be fun. Definitely want to continue. So yeah, thank you, and keep checking for more videos. I don't know what my next video is going to be. I don't know when it's going to be up, but I'll definitely try to get it up soon. And yeah, I have a Twitter. If you want to follow, I don't really post on it. I should probably try. I don't remember the username. Um, let me check. Okay, my username is Sophia, S-O-P-H-I-A, underscore Rose, 15, so 1-5. Um, yeah. And that's it. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. Bye!